If it's not the alphabet people chanting it, it's the woke lefty teachers teaching the alphabet people's ideology whenever they're not striking, of course. Now, just stop oil coming for your children. Why can't we just leave them alone? Welcome back to the Bit of Truth for a Monday. I hope Just Stop All haven't ruined your week for you just yet. That's right, the orange eco morons, the Just Stop All protesters are trying to recruit children as young as 11. Well, I wonder why. Have you realized that adults are just not getting on your side for some reason? Yes, they're now targeting schools and have recruited a student-led faction to plan stunts on school assemblies. Well done. You've actually realized that making kids late for school would actually work out pretty well for you. Bravo! Well, I'm keeping my car. I'm not going anywhere near public transport. Let's take a look and see how that's going. A man brings a full-size motorbike onto a train and then gets angry when passengers complain. Yes, no thank you. Like I said, I'll just keep my car. Why are you on the train with a motorbike? It's not like you're gonna get stuck in traffic now, are you? Maybe it's cheaper than fuel prices, who knows? But the audacity and entitlement to have a go at people for trying to shimmy around you just to exit. You deserve the Donkey of the Day award. Well done. You're a fucking idiot. And whilst you're not having to dodge motorbikes on the train, you might be having to dodge elbows. A subway commuter knocks a man unconscious when he accidentally fell asleep on him. What a loser. So a man who is tired from probably a very long day's work accidentally falls asleep on your shoulder and you thought the best idea was to put him back to sleep. Those are just two examples of why I don't like using public transport. Thank you, just stop oil, but no thank you. Thanks, but no thanks. Now, I'm usually always right. Well, I'm always right. But who knew that I could actually see into the future? In today's episode of I Told You So, a woman steals luxury goods for the rich. Well, there you go, Waitrose. I did warn you, so why you should listen to me. Yes, this grand is making £500 a day stealing stuff for posh people. Business is booming, she says. Yes, she steals anything from filet steak, lobster, champagne to Egyptian cotton sheets. Many of her 60 clients actually live in three million pound houses in Belgravia or Knightsbridge. I feel so sorry for these guys. They must be feeling the pinch so badly that they have to employ this granny to commit grand larceny. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> now, speaking of money, a woman is handed a 40,000 pound sorry after she claims the police burst into her home and pinned her up against the wall. Yes, well done to the police for wasting another 40,000 pounds of taxpayer money simply because they can't follow basic instructions or use common sense. I highly doubt that a five foot disabled woman needs you lot to burst into her house in the early hours of the morning without a warrant, grabbing her aggressively and pinning her up against the wall over a false allegation which was later dropped. You're all fucking morons. And now speaking of the police overstepping their marks, the police tell a hotel boss to remove an online video of thieves. Why? Because it's causing them distress. <laughs> Oh, distress. Poor you too. It's a damn shame when you get caught red-handed, isn't it now? Yes, these two checked into a hotel and thought they could get away with stealing everything from the towels, the lamps, the clock radio, and even the TV remote. Looking at this salad dodger, it looks like she shoplifted quick fit on her way to the hotel. With all those tires under her shirt making her look like the Michelin man. We've said it once, we'll say it again. To all criminals. The more you fuck around, the more you're gonna find out. Now, when the police actually do their jobs and arrest someone, and then the judge actually does theirs and puts them behind bars, we can still count on the prison system to fail us. A trans woman is paid $160,000 by New York State after they were misgendered by staff at an all-male jail. God. Well, looking on the bright side, at least they weren't put into a female prison. But $160,000 of taxpayers' hard-earned money Given out to be misgendered and told to remove acrylic nails is just completely ridiculous. Making more money in jail than people do in a respectable job. Now that's criminal. Fucking outrageous. And in more prisons, a British Muslim convert who joined Is 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 released from jail just a year after he was deemed too dangerous to be freed. Oh, fantastic. Well done to the judicial system once more. Well done for quietly releasing this very handsome man of terror back out onto the streets. 
Yes, I'm very sure he's learned this lesson and will definitely not go back to his old ways. Are we actually ever going to learn? Of course not, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Who wants more police stuff? We do, we do. Well, okay then. Cops swoop in as an ice cream van charged seven pounds for a 99 flake. Now, whilst I agree that seven pounds for an ice cream is beyond criminal, do we really need to send the boys in blue just for this? If I was charged this much for an ice cream, it better come with free refills or else I'm not paying. Anyways, well done to the police for apprehending the ice cream criminal. Time very well spent. Damn good job. Damn good bloody good damn good job. And also in police finding ways to waste their time. The cops were called when a bookies didn't have enough cash to pay out a bet. Ugh. The police ask, why are we here? And we don't want to be here when they realize the situation. Well, why did you go? We have enough problems going on in this country with criminals walking around doing whatever they want whenever they want. But you decided to go to this call where a shop didn't have enough money to pay our bet. You did not disappoint. And when the police aren't telling hotel bosses to stop outing thieves or paying five foot tall disabled ladies 40,000 pounds or even arresting ice cream criminals, they are still at it carrying out crimes of their own. A racialist Met police officer has now been jailed for sending slurs to his ex about her new boyfriend. Yes, well done to this completely heartbroken loser who just couldn't move on when his girlfriend dumped him because she realized he worked for the police. He thought it was a great idea to send abusive messages such as the M-bomb, all because his ex-partner found new love. You wanna know how long he got? Go on, have a guess. 71 days in prison. Oh, for fuck's sake. It's a bloody disgrace. Now, speaking of dropping the M-bomb, a Lloyd's bank boss was unfairly dismissed over a query about the M-word. So this man is about to receive a significant payout after working for the bank for 17 years. During a race education session, see, this is why we don't need these. Anyway, he used the word when asking what he needs to do if a black person were to use this word at work. I'm not quite sure why you actually needed to use the word, but what gets me is that the woman leading the exercise was so badly distressed after this horrific incident that she needed to take a week off work. Ugh, grow up, woman. Goose from a goose blah blah. Now, speaking of women and jobs, we have a woman here who doesn't want her teenager to get a job. Apparently, it's insane to make kids work. Are we joking? What are you talking about? It's no wonder we have so many little shits running around with no respect these days. What about learning about responsibility? What about learning the value of money? No? Well, let's see how your kid turns out then. Not. Money please! And finally today, scientists found a gene in naked mole rats which could help humans live longer. Well, I don't need it. And after reading all of these articles every day, I definitely don't want it. I don't need to be here any longer than I have to. We're screwed. Right, so what have we learnt today? Apart from I'm a psychic, just stop oil or coming for your kids. Don't bother with public transport. The police and the judicial system are still completely screwed. Don't drop the M-bomb at work. And kids are turning out to be little shits because their mothers have lost their minds. Signing out.